We got some breaking news, ladies and gentlemen. First of all, let me let you know that Mr. Professional is back in stock. We are now shipping to Canada as well. But more importantly is this, a lot of you guys were asking me, David, if I have an older iPad, the ones that have the lightning cable, can I use it for my DSLR booth or can I use it for Mr. Professional DSLR photo booth? And I wasn't too sure, so this is what I did. I found my really old iPad. It's an iPad, here, let me show you. I'm gonna turn the phone around. It's an old iPad, it's an iPad, here. It's an iPad fifth generation. So it's basically a beautiful calculator at this point. I'm messing, it's not that bad, but. So I ended up buying different types of dongles. I have more packages over there in the table. Those, those failed me miserably. So I found this specific dongle now and this specific cable that allows this setup to actually work inside of a DSLR booth like Mr. Professional right there. By the way, when I set up Mr. Professional, guys, I usually put on the foams it comes with. That way I keep my professional uh, look always slick, okay? So back to the, to the video here. This is a data cable type C going into a USB right here. And then I have a lightning uh, going into the dongle as well. And I'm grabbing power from this powerful little portable bank. Uh, this has a output of 65 watts and also has an output of 30 watts. Right now I'm pulling 30 watts and I'm charging the iPad. So during the session, you guys can continuously keep your iPad charged as long as you have this type C connected to the main, um, the main outlet that you have inside of Mr. Professional. So that's a beautiful thing. But back to the iPad, older iPad. By the way, guys, I recommend you guys use newer iPads, especially because some of the stuff that we're using nowadays takes a good amount of uh, performance when it comes to the processor. So if you guys can get like a newer iPad, like at least an M1, like an iPad Air fifth generation, you guys will be set to go. But if you guys have a iPad Pro, for example, and you guys have the Type-C, the Type-C transfers information much faster. Not only that, but it charges a lot faster. It allows more current to, to flow through. That's one of the advantages of using the type C. So now that I have my camera connected to the uh, dongle here and my iPad is also getting power, as you guys can see, I'm gonna launch an event. And then when I go to configure camera right there, I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the camera and boom, it popped up. So that is dope. So I'll, I'll, I'll select it and then I'll go to start. And you can see my little finger in front of the lens over here. See how I'm covering it? So, yeah, man, I wanted to share this good news with you guys. Just in case, like I said, you guys are going to be using an iPad with the lightning cable, which is the older models. You can do so uh, and still have a successful event with the iPad continuously getting charged from Mr. Professional. And here, let me show you what I mean by by how you can connect this to continuously get charge. So say for example, here, let me, I'm using one hand to do this. Say for example, you have your iPad, right? And I'll leave it connected here. Okay. So say, say you guys order Mr. Professional and you have an older iPad with the lightning. Here's the beautiful thing about Mr. Professional is I'll take these screws off. iPad right in here see that that's where I'll be able to connect the power so I would take this this type C and put it right in there where that thing's connected to the body not the faceplate but the body right there and it'll it'll continuously get power throughout the entire event so I hope this video helped uh, some of you guys that are considering using your older iPads like I said, I recommend you guys either trade your iPads in, get some money back from Apple. That way you get an iPad that you guys can use not only as a, a DSLR kind of interface, but at the same time, use it when you guys decide to do like the drop off concept and you just want to use the, the iPad selfie camera. So you have a more versatile setup. And so I hope you guys found this video uh, helpful. If you guys have any questions, you guys already know the dilly, go ahead and place them in the comment box below. I'll see you guys in the next video.